it's gonna take a little bit you're patient so if your ea app does not work or is not updating here's what we can do about it first things first i want you to turn on the wi-fi or the ethernet connection An ethernet connection means that your internet cable is plugged in directly into your computer then i want you to click on these three lines and go online in case you aren't already so if you're online the go offline button should show up then we want to clear the ea apps cache before doing this make sure you have a backup of your whole electronic arts folder so a backup means that you are just gonna you know right click in it copy and then just paste it on whatever disk you want or on your desktop make sure you have enough free space so look beforehand you can right click on this go to properties see how many gigabytes or megabytes your folder does have and see if you have enough free space on your computer once we've restarted the app we also want to go once again to help and then app recovery this means that we are going to delete the ea apps cache cache files are temporary files so we are good to go it's the same thing that you would do on your browser you want to delete cache from time to time okay because that cache does pile up and some error files might be included in that cache app recovery and clear cache pay attention to this because you'll need to log in this is gonna log you out so in case you don't know the password make sure you reset your password beforehand or make sure you know your email before doing this in that case we can go to settings and then my profile manage and you can edit your you know email preferences your security as well which is your password also it's going to verify your game which means that those installed games will be unavailable and it also says that if you still have origin app recovery will verify your games the next time you open the app do you guys still have origin let me know in the comments down below it just kind of made me switch to the EA app and apparently it hasn't logged us out which is great okay but make sure you know your password and your username slash email what i would also suggest would be like restarting your computer just click on your taskbar and then just restart not like resetting it just close it and then open it once again make sure your internet is on and then do these steps once again and it should work for you and if you still encounter issues with this app you might have to uninstall it so let's just go into control panel uninstall a program i have it here on my taskbar but you can click right over here and type in control panel you know open it up uninstall a program find your ea app and then just you know click yes until you uninstall it you can download it once again and reinstall it again make sure you know your email and your password now in case your game isn't updating or in case your ea app isn't updating the same things can be applied you can completely exit the app make sure you have wi-fi on but when it comes to your game not updating i want you to first things first you know what i'm talking about have a backup of your ea folder just copy and paste it wherever you have enough free space you can try to repair it it's gonna take a little bit depending on how many packs you have so if you have lots of them obviously it's gonna take a little bit but we are patient it also comes down to the internet speed that you have if your packs aren't showing up you can click on manage add-ons and see if those show up it's most certainly an ea app issue so that's what i'm saying clear the cache completely exit the app restart the app do all those steps that we've talked about previously the ea is not opening for me right now so here's what we can do about it exit it make sure we don't have it open in this little arrow window press ctrl alt to dell if you're on windows go to task manager make sure there's no ea app on there then we can either disconnect and then reconnect to wi-fi or if you're on ethernet just like me we can go to control panel network and internet view network status change adapter settings then disable and then re-enable it and additionally you can restart the computer so we can type in ea right click in it and then run as administrator so we're gonna click yes 
you probably haven't seen anything it's, it's a black screen it doesn't record that screen so click yes if it's still loading like mine is right now test the internet speed because as you can see right here my internet speed isn't that great that might be the cause so you can restart your router just unplug it and then plug it in once again Oh, now it works. In case you don't know, I have a bunch of videos talking about mods not working in The Sims 4 or how to fix Sims 4 not working. I'm gonna link them right over here. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by. 